Sunshine Gasoline Distributors, Inc. is the owner of the existing Marathon gas station located at 4450 South University Drive and is requesting public support to perform the improvements to the existing gas station as outlined in this presentation. Sunshine Gasoline Distributors, Inc. opened its doors for business in 1987 and has been growing with the South Florida community ever since. The company was founded by owner and president Maximo Alvarez, a Cuban native transplanted to Miami at the age of 13 via Operation Pedro Pan. Mr. Alvarez has contributed his success to his humble roots and strict belief in helping those of the community less fortunate than others. Because of his humble beginnings, Maximo Alvarez has always believed in helping the community as well as the industry in which he has spent most of his career. Mr. Alvarez has been very involved in the Florida Petroleum Marketers Association, was elected chairman of the board in 2000, and inducted into its Hall of Fame in 2005. He has received awards for his work in Hope for Vision and the Transplant Foundation. In 2006, Mr. Alvarez became a trustee of Pedro Pan Group, a nonprofit organization for immigrant children. Mr. Alvarez serves as a trustee for The First T, a junior program with positive impact on lives of young people through the game of golf. In 2016, he was appointed by Governor Rick Scott to serve on the Florida State University Board of Trustees. He serves as chairman of the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services and Sunshine Gasoline has been a continuous sponsor of Miami Children's Hospital and the Muscular Dystrophy Association. Mr. Alvarez's biggest dream was recently fulfilled when Centro Hispano Católico, a daycare center for underprivileged children, opened its doors to over 300 children. Mr. Alvarez is a strong believer in the philosophy that every new generation must be better than the last. MDM Services, Inc. is the design consultant for the project. MDM was established in 1986 and has been providing quality and timely engineering and professional services to southeastern United States for over 30 years. MDM is comprised of three divisions, engineering, environmental, and construction. Each division is staffed with qualified licensed professionals with years of expertise and experience with the design and development of retail fueling facilities, convenience stores, and similar properties. MDM is committed to remain at the forefront in providing technical and governmental permitting services and expertise to its clients in the fields of design, engineering, and environmental sciences. This presentation summarizes reconstruction of an existing facility incorporating a new holistic design with inputs received during two public meetings and workshops with community residents, Town of Davie Planning, Central Broward Water Control District, Broward County, and Florida Department of Transportation. We appreciate the opportunity to fully describe planned improvements in presentation format of some very specific and technical issues as previously requested by neighboring residents during initial public meetings. The existing facility was built in 1979. It has eight vehicle fueling positions, a 723 square foot convenience store, no backup power generator, and is distance less than 250 feet from residential community. Compressed air is located at the back of the property in close proximity to the residential area. An air conditioning unit on top of the canopy is visible from ground level. At the present time, there is no screening between the adjacent residences of Orangewood Estates and subject site. Residents voice concerns about car lights, luminaries, noise, bad drainage, unwanted activities, traffic, and similar issues that will be further discussed during the presentation. The proposed 1.2 acre property consists of three parcels subject to platting under single ownership and B2 zoning as community business center. 
Proposed site improvements will include modern multi-product fuel dispensers and 16 fueling positions, new double wall underground fuel storage tanks with state-of-the-art fuel distribution system, fuel systems monitoring and backup containment safeguards, a new ADA compliant 2,960 square foot convenience store, a new fuel island canopy resistant to tropical storms and hurricanes, new dumpster trash enclosure conforming to waste management requirements, 10 by 40 foot loading zone for commercial delivery trucks, a 912 square foot mini tunnel automatic car wash positioned away from the neighborhood properties, compressed air and vacuum, proper traffic circulation, pavement markings, energy efficient lighting, and new storm drainage to accommodate storm water runoff treatments for quality and quantity. Proposed building architecture, hardscaping, landscaping, signage, and screening will be consistent with Town of Davie development codes and resident inputs from earlier public participation meetings. The new underground fuel tanks, fuel piping, and fuel dispensers will be state of the art. All are designed, reviewed for environmental and life safety code compliance, and permitted in accordance with Broward County, State of Florida, Federal Environmental Protection Agency, and National Fire Protection Association environmental and life safety regulations for gas station construction. The underground fuel handling equipment is double walled with continuous electronic interstitial the space between inner and outer wall leak detection, backed up with fuel inventory gauging and line pressure leak detection. The tanks are equipped with overfill prevention safeguards and double wall spill containment at underground tank connections with fuel truck delivery hoses. Permit approvals and installation will be overseen by Broward County Department of Environmental Protection and Town of Davie Fire Department. It is the owner's focus that this facility be an asset and benefit for the Town of Davie and surrounding neighborhoods. The new convenience store will be equipped with a permanent emergency backup power supply generator to exceed the requirements of Chapter 526.143 Florida statutes regulating an alternate generated power capacity for motor fuel dispensing facilities and fully operate both the fuel island and store during power outages and hurricane events. It will offer the typical convenience store staples such as packaged hot sandwiches, breakfast items, hot dogs, hydrating beverages, pastries, etc. The food offerings will vary over time based on neighborhood demographics and sales. Crime prevention through environmental design is used to facilitate law enforcement presence and encourage security. During overnight shifts, protective service workers and first responders, police, firefighters, hospital employees are usual customers and known to deter criminals. Long hours of operations, public restrooms, and ease of access increase the likelihood that convenience store employees are in a unique position to help customers in need of a safe haven. There will be no trespassing. This property is protected by video surveillance. Employees have no cash on hand. Trespasses will be prosecuted. Florida Statutes 810.09 signs posted on site. Trash enclosures will have a gated, mazed entrance with no trespassing signage. Restrooms will be accessed from inside the new store. Proposed screen wall and store will create a natural barrier of the vacant area between the neighborhood and existing gas station. Curb appeal, low shelving, well-designed lighting, video surveillance, designated police parking, and similar security enhancements are provided to encourage police presence and discourage unlawful activities. 
The proposed development incorporates a decorative architectural screen wall along the east side of the property to separate the reconstructed facility from neighboring properties to the east. It will be similar to existing screen wall bordering the residential properties from existing commercial properties north of existing gas station and will obstruct direct headlight line of sight from vehicles fueling or parked in front of the store. The screen wall will be set back six feet from the neighborhood property line and extend 10 feet above average site grade of the neighborhood property bordering the station. The neighborhood side will have textured surfacing consistent with existing screen wall to the north, painted with nice beige and earth tones and lushly landscaped with supplemental native hardwood trees, similar to existing trees, and a base planting of fire, bush, shrubbery, and irrigation consistent with neighborhood architecture and color palette. VAC and air combinations are usual features traditionally found at most gas stations and important self-service convenience to the public. Based on public input, these accessories have been located as far as possible from neighboring residential properties, screened from neighboring properties as previously noted, and shielded from adjacent roadways by landscaping berm and shrubbery per Town of Davie specifications. Additional public inquiry as to noise level reduction that could be anticipated. Neighborhood side of screen wall summarized as follows. Manufacturer's data specifies typical vac and air combination produced 77 decibel of noise. The noise level reaching screen wall may be calculated using inverse square law as follows. SL1 over SL2 equals to D1 over D2 squared, where SL1, sound level measured by device, 77 decibel, SL2, sound level reaching wall, 52 decibel, D1, distance from vacant air to measuring device, 10 feet, D2, distance from vacant air to wall, 188 feet. In accordance with Federal Highway Administration Highway Noise Barrier Design Handbook, the wall transmission loss is 39 decibels. The anticipated noise reduction by six inches thick, light concrete reflective sound blocking wall is 52 decibel less 39 decibel equals 13 decibel. Similar analysis for proposed car wash with decibel measuring 89 decibel, five feet from car wash exit, is effectively reduced to 18 decibel, 260 feet from nearest residence. Environmental Protection Agency permits the maximum noise level for residential communities to be 52 decibels from 7 a.m. till 6 p.m., 45 decibels from 6 p.m. till 10 p.m., and 40 decibels from 10 p.m. till 7 a.m. 40 decibels creates a subjective impression of being quiet and appropriate for private business offices. 30 decibel sound level is usually observed in bedrooms. 20 decibels are industry standard for recording studios. And 10 decibels is considered a threshold of human hearing. Site drainage is currently being treated in four soakage pits, while excessive stormwater sheets flow to adjacent lake to the east and adjacent roadside swale along Orange Drive. In the post-development condition, no stormwater runoff will be routed to any residential properties east of the proposed station. All surface waters will be treated underground on site for quality and quantity reviewed for compliance and permitted through governmental agencies having jurisdiction, including South Florida Water Management, Central Broward Water Control District, and Florida Department of Transportation. Excessive overflow discharge required by Central Broward Water Control District will be provided through existing Florida Department of Transportation storm drain system with ultimate outfall to South Florida Water Management District Canal, 
immediately south of Orange Drive. The roadside swale along Orange Drive, adjacent to the gas station and extending approximately additional 20 feet east of the station, will be reworked to remove approximately 12 inches of accumulated organic and deleterious materials to restore and improve design percolation. Reconstruction of existing Orange Drive entrance includes a new concrete culvert. Connecting swales east and west of the entrance will reduce right-of-way accumulations along Orange Drive bordering adjacent properties to the east. Several neighbors expressed dissatisfaction with peak hour traffic jams along University Drive after construction of Walmart across the street from subject project was completed. The Walmart, located at 4301 South University Drive, is destination retail. The superstore is 154,836 square feet, generating 7,848 new trips per day. The gas station is non-destination retail, capturing bypass trips and generating 123 new trips per day, which represents only 0.45% traffic increase, while normal background traffic yearly increase northbound University Drive is 1.85%. The gas station redevelopment will enhance the Orange Drive and University Drive intersection, rework the pavement signage and marking, widen University Drive in front of the gas station by dedicating an additional 14 feet right-of-way to install proposed combination turn lane. This combination turn lane will reduce existing congestion by providing a storage queue for vehicles entering the station and removing them from northbound rightmost through lane traffic on University Drive. Recorded site observations and intersection modeling for five weekdays during peak hour traffic at adjacent streets demonstrated 35 mile per hour traffic northbound University Drive in front of existing gas station with minor slowdowns during red light phase mostly in the outmost left lane consisting of nine cars in the 225 feet turn lane storage portion and another six cars in the tapered portion waiting in queue for Walmart turn arrow and backing up traffic. In every conducted observation, the congestion dissipates quickly after the traffic light color changed to green. Lastly, relocation of proposed station entrance from Orange Drive further east away from intersection will increase queue length and allow customers to enter the station and reduce the right turn waiting time by removing gas station customers from the right turn queue. Florida Department of Transportation Island Striping was extended to the edge of the northbound University Drive and reflective plastic breakaway poles provided for a visible drive-through deterrent and to divide traffic flow for cars turning right off University onto eastbound Orange Drive. Proposed enhancements are consistent with Florida Department of Transportation pre-application approval. The property owner is applying for a variance from required 250 feet separation between gas station and residential land use based on existing condition limitations. City Commission approval will be largely contingent upon support from the community. The owner and engineer of record are diligently working both with Town of Davie and affected residents to address all reasonable neighborhood concerns to minimize neighborhood impact, incorporate suggested enhancements, and make miscellaneous accommodations as discussed at each of the public participation meetings. We appreciate all community residents who have expressed their support, provided valuable input and assistance with optimizing owner's proposed reconstruction and site improvements. Please do not hesitate to let us know if you have questions or comments and we will be happy to address your concerns. Again, many thanks for your time, for watching this presentation and anticipated help.